Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adbucker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. I understand we have another low-information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Motor, but man, fighting. That's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold it. Why would I? That angle. I need to get it straight on. Give me the plans and it won't. bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. Let she could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right, I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim? Or an accomplice. I need a photo. No purchase with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the highline. Yes. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Nice clear image. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. I wanna keep the boss with me. So that's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. Getting off. Uh, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago in a robbery. 
Great courage. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting Casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Let that train out of my sight. End of the line. I should head over near the subway exit. Wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now.
Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen, that mask, it's, it could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. I could patch these shoes. They'll last well. Wish I could afford an electric wheelchair. Hey, kid. How's all the science stuff going? You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Something wrong? Oh, no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. Uh, busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. I should swing by and see what's going on. There's the theater, and the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping us safe, Spider-Man. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right, uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way, south. Thanks, I got a little turned around. Someone's impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. It does smell like there was a fire in this direction. There's the fire damage. Looks like it got- You came back! I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. 
Whoever foe Spider-Man is, he's helping people. But what he's doing is dangerous. I've got to find him. I wonder if other me left anything behind. Quick thinking with that extinguisher, Spidey. Fire extinguisher, huh? wonder where he left it. He used a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this? ADP, pretty standard, and easy to track. He got fire suppressant on him. If I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally, no webs, no powers, which makes what he's doing suicidal. Looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Come on, man, lay off! I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right, just... you stay out of trouble. I hope I'm not too late. Come on! My doppelganger's got some skills. And he left the drugs. The police will handle the cleanup. Counterfeits knocked out, but breathing. That's him. People seem to like him. Yeah, I mean me. I, I mean, ugh, this is weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your hand. Oh, hey, guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man! Not anymore, you're not. Time to even the odds a little. Yeah! Always do it with more than one guy. Kill them both! I've got this. Go! Did you miss a chance to team up with the real mm. Spider-Man? No way! You know how to fight! I'm a black belt! Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Look out! More of them! I'll take the ones with guns. You get the rest. Appreciate free self defense classes. Good idea. Not as good as the outside of the suit.
was intense. How do you do it? One bruise at a time. Look, your heart's in the right place, but if you keep this up, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, I see that now. Don't worry, I'm hanging up the suit. Spider-Man, no more. Good call. Besides, you don't need a costume to make a difference. Hey, that's a good line. I'll remember that. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. No. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry, ask him to talk to his dad. No, Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. is what you think. Let's ask our first caller. You're on with JG. 
Harry left me a message about these before he left the room. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. Good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. Must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful.
Spider-Man. Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's crazy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank.